Lisa May Reader, Crow Song. And today I will be reading to you from Black Coffee by Mystery Savior. Now, on to Act 1, Chapter 16. I'm telling you, salsa, a taco is basically a hot dog. I, I'm sorry, that's... What's the English word again? Oh, yeah. Fucking bullshit. Come on, man. America chuckled. You're just mad I'm right. Right my Spanish ass. Mexico hissed, thumping his fists on the American's back. Hard enough to hurt, but light enough to not bruise. What you're suggesting is blasphemy. Blasphemy, America. America rolled his eyes and winced at the smaller country's violence. I swear to God, Quesadilla, I will drop you. Mexico stiffened, tensing up against America's back. No vas. That roughly translates to, you wouldn't. Bitch, you know I would. To prove his point, he let go of Mexico's legs and arched his back. The small Spanish country yelped in surprise and wrapped his legs around America's torso, trying desperately not to fall. He also tightened the grip of his forearms on America's neck and almost choked the smug nation in the process. Stop it, you dumbasses! Greenland growled at them. Jesus Christ, we can't take you two anywhere. Antarctica giggled and nodded, poking his tongue out at them as he snuggled into Greenland's back. He, unlike Mexico, was happy with his piggyback partner. He started it! Mexico retorted as America frantically slumped back over and supported the fiery North American to avoid being strangled to death in the middle of the street. Yeah, well, I'm finishing it. Greenland grumbled, adjusting Antarctica when he started slipping slightly. The four countries were out for the day to hit the town all agreeing they deserved a day off from all the work they had put into studying for finals. It had taken a while, but they finally found not only a day when all of them were free, but also a restaurant they all wanted to try. Mexico had started whining pretty much five seconds in about his feet hurting, so just to shut him up, America bent down and offered him a pity bat ride. Mexico obliged, surprisingly, and hopped onto America's back, with little protest, happy to get some relief for his poor legs. Soon after, Greenland swept Antarctica off his feet as well, as he was worried about him straining himself. But they all knew it was because Greenland really just wanted a cuddle buddy. So... America began as he recovered from basically dying. Where's this place again, Annie? Antarctica looked up at the bright blue sky and furrowed his brows, trying to think. His face brightened when he remembered what he needed and raised an arm to point in the direction. He had been the only one of them to actually have seen the place, talking it up a lot to his friends, even though he had never actually eaten any of their food. Alrighty then, America grinned, walking with more determination. Thanks for arranging this, by the way, Tika. I really missed hanging out with you losers. Mexico whacked his head gently, causing America to snicker and adjust his glasses when he felt them slide down. Yeah, Snowflake, you're really too good for us. Antarctica blushed and shook his head, 
burying his face in Greenland's shoulder from embarrassment. Greenland smiled and gave Antarctica the best Eskimo kiss he could manage while the other was kowalling on his back. They were able to at least rub their noses together and kind of graze their foreheads. Gross. America and Mexico joked at the same time, causing them to laugh at their impeccable timing. Antarctica just squeezed Greenland with a smile, not minding the immature teasing. Greenland, on the other hand, let go of, when, of Antarctica's legs for a second to flip both of them off, provoking Mexico to double flip him off. Soon, they reached the restaurant and were all seemingly pleased by the atmosphere of the place. None of them surprised Antarctica managed to find such a good place. In order to make sure they were all satisfied, Antarctica chose an international buffet place called De Lianos, allowing them all to get whatever they wanted. After Mexico and Antarctica dismounted, they all slipped into the restaurant. It wasn't very crowded, and there were booths and couches everywhere. Mexico and America's faces lit up when they spotted their favorites. Make your own taco and burger bars, respectively. Antarctica clapped his gloved hands cheerfully, happy to see them both so excited. Greenland chuckled and wrapped an arm around his partner while eyeing the countries in front of them. Snowflake and I will try to get a table. You two try not to gorge yourselves too much. Both American countries nodded their heads, but smirked at each other when they turned their backs to on their friends. They were going to eat till they died. And he just said yes? Just like that? Yeah, weird, right? America smiled as he took another huge bite of his burger, speaking between chews. It's almost like he wanted fancy, sparkly toenails. Mexico grimaced at the nation. Don't speak with your mouth full, cretin. Hey, at least I covered my mouth with my hand. Antarctica laid his fork on his plate and started signing as Greenland translated for him. You two act like a bickering old couple. The two of them blushed and recoiled from each other. Mexico barely still on the booth chair, and America basically fused with the wall from how much distance they tried to fit between them. Oh, hell no! America seethed. For once, I agree with you. Yeah, me too. Greenland frowned skeptically. They don't seem like they would even be able to stand each other for longer than a few hours. Antarctica smirked and winked at his boyfriend, signing, Exactly. Me? And Mexico? The U.S. of A. shuddered violently, making a gagging gesture with his hands. That's like a circle of hell all on its own. Mexico narrowed his eyes, placing a hand on his chest. Pardon me! That translates to, excuse me. You're not fantastic either, puta. That translates to bitch. Oh no, yeah, I see it. Greenland snickered, stealing a french fry from America's plate. America slapped his hand, but ultimately let him take it. Although he did miss it dearly after its disappearance. He rested his chin on his hand and munched on some of his fries as his friends chatted and ate, zoning out of the conversation. Ame? America jolted his head up expectantly. Yes? Whoa, calm down there. Mexico giggled, sipping some of his water. 
America shook the dust out of his mind. Sorry, what was the question again? Greenland lifted an eyebrow as he stopped sipping from his own drink, allowing Antarctica to sneakily steal a few slurps from the metal straw. You seem very distracted today, he observed. More so than usual, that is. Mexico piped up with a sly grin. Antarctica nodded and tilted his head as if to say, Mind telling us what's wrong? America sighed and sunk into the cushioned base of the chair, running a hand through his hair. My mind's just been somewhere else. Yeah, we guessed, Mexico scoffed, rolling his eyes, although there was a slight trace of concern in his tone. Mind telling us where, Greenland translated. Well, it's a lot of things, really, but the main thing is Vietnam. Who's that? Greenland asked, slightly annoyed he couldn't just get to the point. Yeah, we can't be expected to know your friends' names, Mexico pointed out, rolling his eyes. Not that you have friends. Instead of the withering glare Mexico would usually receive for his sharp tongue, America only weakly smiled at his hands. Now they were really concerned. No, guys, Antarctica signed, face palming at his friend's insensitivity. Vietnam's the guy May went on a date with. Mexico made an O form with his mouth, and Greenland nodded in realization. What about him? Greenland queried. You broke it off, right? Mexico added hopefully. You're not seeing each other anymore? Well, America chuckled nervously. Not exactly. What? Mexico exclaimed, making a large overdramatic gesture with his large overdramatic reaction. Why not? I don't know. He just looked so sad when I had to leave, so I... So you what? Greenland pressed, crossing his arms and glaring at America with disappointment. So I asked him on another date. America mumbled. Antarctica sighed and Greenland and Mexico groaned. There is no hope for you. And that's the end of this chapter. I hope you enjoyed. Anyway, I would like to invite you to join the Discord, which is linked down in the description below. That being said, I hope you have a nice rest of your day, night, or whatever it is for you. Just enjoy your time. And I will see you tomorrow.